welcome. Uh, we just received a new request from a fellow YouTube user by the name of SFD Works 36. Thank you for writing in. Uh, he has just request uh, for us to do a quick review on the new KDS K7X Mark II. Okay, this is a new uh, version of the KDS K7X with new layouts on the screen as well as the new layouts on on the buttons as compared to the previous version we had only the LED numeric display with limited numbers of uh, buttons okay and this is the new one okay we have two rows of buttons here both left and right and on the left okay we have the menu assess buttons okay for you to assess the sub menus by scrolling up or down and on the right we have the value adjustments okay for you to tweak your parameters uh, of your exponentials dual rates pitch curves throttle curve gyro sense percentages so on and so forth okay and also not forgetting these gimbals are actually adjustable by turning the set screws inside you can adjust the length up to your comfort level and also the simulator port which is a 1 8th jack okay which is similar to uh, the spectrum or the JR okay you can use that as well for all most of the mainstream simulators in the market today okay let's take a look at what's inside the LCD screen now we have a throttle warning it's very easy to identify where's the problem from I did not set the throttle to zero and this is one of the uh, safety feature uh, of the K7X2 okay, it's the safety on the throttle side uh, it will not transmit okay, if you did not start the radio with the throttle down okay all right now here we are the screen on the LCD okay we have the voltage display okay, both in numeric and bars as well as the type of models here which is a HL3 okay for my case it's a helicopter setup with three servos okay it shows up here HL3 now you can change to AP which is aeroplane a V tail or delta wing okay whatever it is it will actually shows up here okay on this space is actually showing uh, the current status of your switch currently in use okay for DR1 <coughs> this is the up switch okay, if you flick it down it shows you a DR2 okay this is the high rate and the low rate okay if you're a helicopter flyer if you hit the idle up for 3d flying it will show you IDL for the idle up or the throttle hole for auto rotation okay now you must be wondering what is all this big numeric number is all about now this is something very cool it's something very new incorporated in the k7x2 uh, it has never been found on the first version this is actually is a timer countdown okay for you to con uh, to monitor your flight time it's actually activated via your throttle controls okay the moment you hit the throttle you will start the countdown okay to the la to the very to the very end where you will hear a lot of beeps for to remind you that it's time for you to land okay and of course other features here are some of the digital trims which are marked in dots right here at the bottom and as well as the sides okay these are the trims digital trims which you can store them digitally inside and when you recall them back it actually shows you the exact position of the trims where you were at previously okay all right and also one very important feature on this radio is it actually allows you to change into four different types of stick modes Okay, previously on version 1 it allows you to change from 1 to 2 okay and back from 2 to 1 but for this one it can allows you to change from mode 1 2 3 and 4 okay so it's, it's very good for you to pass your radio on to other bodies who have different kind of modes so all you have to do is to change electronically inside let me show you how press and hold the menu and turn it on while pressing the menu button okay and you will enter the setup page for the radio hit the menu button once more and you will see the stick type and you, as you scroll along you can actually see four different types of stick modes okay <laughs> refer to the menu on page 9 okay. okay it has a table of four different types of mode okay one two three four are actually the indications here on the radio if you see one just refer to the table it actually refers to usa hand this is a their definition for you and i know usa hand is mode two and the japanese hand is mode one so on and so forth three and four okay so just follow the one two three four and make the reference from the usa hand mode two or japanese hand mode one okay so if you're a mode two change it to mode one if you are a mode one flyer i'll stick to mode two because i'm a mode one flyer 
alright so there you have it this is the K7X2 okay from KDS I hope you like the video and if you have any questions you would like to ask us feel free to write in the comments box right below okay and I'll be glad to share with you whenever if I can okay this is Derek signing off from Sky Hobbies uh, thank you for watching